know that usually in the past will address the team ahead of the playoffs. Have you had a conversation with him? And if so, what was it? Uh, I did not. I, I think that uh, there's a time and place, and I just felt that um, you know, our guys are in a good place. Uh, we've got a lot of guys that have been in this situation and you know, know what's at stake that uh, you know, folks who win the ball game, I don't think they need uh, to hear me uh, emphasize that. And with Luke Betts, he's talked about how this year it's been challenging and frustrating for him with his hip injury. How have you seen him bounce back? How pleased have you been with his performance recently? Um, very pleased, uh, more so of his um, willingness and openness to do whatever it took to get him back on the field. Um, you, know, you look back a couple months, I can't believe we're here uh, with him playing every day. It, it's amazing. Um, a credit to the doctors and the training staff and looking most important. Uh, he's playing good baseball. Um, so to have on our club certainly makes him a lot better manager and uh, makes us a better club. And what led to uh, the decision of that being at first base to start? Um, I, I think for me it was kind of uh, starting initially with uh, who's on the mound uh, for us, and that's Max Scherzer. And uh, he's typically a high strikeout guy with a uh, high volume of right handed batters. So I think that center field of defense, outfield of defense is, is really important. Um, and if the ball is on the ground, it should be the left side of the infield. And so now to have somebody that can catch it from the left side of the diamond uh, is, you know, I'm good with Matt over there and also Matt's swinging the bat well. So to have him take a couple of bats against Wayne Wright and potentially be able to pivot out of that if we need to. Um, you know, I, I think Gavin is a great option, but just has to play the whole lot in the outfield. Um, so to introduce that variable, I think it just gives us the best chance to win tonight, having to deploy him in a spot. Um, Albert, I like Albert. Um, I trust him. Um, certainly the range factor, and I just think that the, the ability to have him on the bench against a lefty um, outweighed that decision. Um, outside of that, you know, there were some other options, but on the margins, that was kind of good. Now, Gary, play. Are they with all the talented players and, and the two great players, you know, starting at the mound? How would you describe tonight for baseball fans? For baseball, how would you describe tonight? How would I describe it? Um, I, I, I think um, they got to see Red Sox Yankees last night. Um, they get to see two of the best baseball franchises in sports over the long, you know, decades, and the Dodgers and the Cardinals uh, go at it. Um, so we're going to be covered, uh, you know, the U.S., we've got the Midwest, we've got the Northeast covered, and we got the West covered. So I think as a baseball fan, it's an elimination. It's one game. You've got Wayne Wright, who you can't not root for and love and appreciate, and you've got Max Scherzer, who I feel is the same. So it, it's going to be a great game. And uh, as a baseball fan, I, I think I can be a fan for a minute, but then soon I'm going to go into uh, manager mode. But... It, it's great. It's great for the game. All right, Morgan. Well, uh, Dave, how different was it preparing for you know a one game playoff like this compared to years past? Five game series to start, quick turnaround, creating a roster for one game. How different was that? Um, it's it's different um, in the sense of it's one game. Um, there's no guarantee for the next day. There's not always tomorrow mindset. Um, it's, uh, there was a little bit of kind of figuring out uh, the extra players because of Max's injury, Max Muncy's injury. Um, obviously, having your best arms that make sense against a potentially a heavy right-handed lineup, um, kind of going through scenarios of how we can come out of things, what gives us the best chance uh, to win this ball game. But I think overarching overall, it was actually really easy because from day one all we've talked about is winning one game. And so here we are. We gotta just win one game. And with your bullpen on uh, game price not being in there, uh, rules not in there, what we'll, kind we'll of win it I, I think it just speaks to um, this is a, a very talented team, um, in particular against left handed pitching. Um, so I just felt that you know talking to our guys, coaches from office and what gives us the best chance to prevent runs. <laughs> And um, love David, uh, you know what he does. But I just think that the skill set uh, for one game, it just for David and Justin on this roster, just didn't make as much sense. JP, middle left. Yeah, but I know you typically like to split up lefties. Is 
you can do today with Dollinger and Beatty? What was the thought process there? I think um, there is a point where um, if I feel that I, I well, I'll just specifically, I just felt AJ deserves to be in that spot. He's um, he's played well all year, first left, first right, and uh, he deserves to be there. And so um, there's a, a right-handed run, certainly. There's a left-handed run, uh, which I can come out of it with the two lefties. But I think that having AJ in the sixth today gives the best chance to win. And then I wanted to ask you about Trey Turner, just generally, what did him coming here do for your team, and how do you think he compares to the other most valuable players in the National League this season? Um, I think how does he, uh, yeah, I, I think that the other most valuable players, um, he, he, he posts, he plays every day. Plays and has played a premium position in shortstop. Um, mm-hmm. He changed position to position he hadn't played in years um, to and getting traded in the middle of the season to not have those numbers uh, get go down or get depressed or suppressed. They, they got better actually. Um, so that speaks to him. Um, what he's done for the clubhouse, he's just added stability, um, a, de- a dynamic of. Being able to hit the ball line to line, steal a base, score from first base, um, pencil him in at the top of the order. So, um, and he's got a really cool outlook on life in the sense of, you know, like I heard the other day, he's like one game wild card, you know, sudden death, do or die. This is fun, and so I think that guys understand that as opposed to kind of, you know, going to a deeper level of what this game means. Hey, Dave, could you see yourself using Julio in sort of a high leverage one inning situation, or is he only there for length if you guys go to um, Julio would be used, um, certainly be late. Um, and I say late, I, I can't foresee anything before the eighth inning. Um, ninth inning, you know, if the game gets funky, which we've all seen a lot of baseball games that they can get funky, so, but that's kind of what I was saying. And I'm not sure that it matters given the length of time, but has he thrown his bullpen since his last start on Saturday? He did. He did. Paulette? Yeah, Dave. Uh, what's your confidence level out with Chris Taylor right now? How was playing the second half? How did that play into learning how to start tonight? My confidence in Chris um, you know, as a baseball player hasn't changed. Um, I think that he certainly, uh, you know, he, he's been he's been grinding the second half. He really has. Um, so, but you know, he's gonna. We're gonna need. Him. We're gonna need him, and I can't predict what spot. Uh, whether it's to get a butt down, taking the bat, uh, play defense, start a game. I, I can't predict that. I do know that um, he's one of my favorite players. And I trust him as a ball player, as a person, and um, like I said, we're gonna need him. Uh, we're gonna need him this postseason. Yeah, right, Andy. Hey, does what did all last year make it any easier for this group to like not get too wound up about the prospect of the elimination game? Um, you know what? I don't think so. I, I to be quite honest, I thought it would, um, but the expectations um, outside of this room or that room, the expectations uh, inside that room haven't changed. So um, no, it hasn't changed. So like it's not like like yeah. looser than it was last year in these yeah, situations. Not at all. Not at all. Game is my back. My cardinal speed a concern, or how much of a concern is it on the bases tonight? Um, I, I trust Max as far as controlling the running game. Um, I like Bill behind the plate, um, but when you've got Edmund um, in particular, uh, Bader at the bottom, and, and a little O'Neill, I, I think that it, it's a it's a it's a heavy ball club. It's a, it, they're a heady, heady ball club, and they're opportunistic on the bases. They're aggressive. Um, so, you know, guys on second base, we've got to be mindful of signs and um, keeping guys and not giving away bases. So, uh, it, it's certainly uh, been a topic that uh, we've, we've discussed many times. Yeah. Farla, Craig, you've obviously managed in a Game Seven of the World Series elimination. Uh, in that scenario, you saw him six different times. How does this feel different, in particular, with the pressure 
that's outside this chapter? Uh, well, you know, the first, well, the game seven, um, it, it's uh, it's a different starting pitcher. It's, it's, it's two different teams, and I'll even say our team's different. Um, it's an elimination game. Uh, it was certainly unknown to us at that point in time, um, but the guys that are kind of carryovers, I, I think that the experience certainly helps, but you still got to go out there and play. Um, so I think that sometimes you can say the naivete or the inexperience and go out there and roll the balls out there is is, uh, is the benefit. It's beneficial. <laughs> I can't say that until after this game's over. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, and I think that we can say that all the time. So, all uh, so for our group, I'll say the experience matters, and uh, I'd like our guy to take an announcement. Eric? Hey, Doug. The, uh, what, what you, what's your feeling about after a run of winning the division, now you're involved in this end of the playoff format? Do, do you like it? Is, would you rather see it changed? Last year you had the two out of three first round in the anomaly of the COVID season. What, what would you prefer to see on this going forward? You know, um, Barry, I, uh, I did lose uh, a bet to Bruce Bochy. I lost a dinner and a nice bottle of uh, Bordeaux. The division. He had the Giants. <laughs> I had the Dodgers. Um, but outside of that, I just haven't spent a whole lot of time on what would be, because I think for me, as I look at things and what's the solution, and I haven't done enough work on what's a better solution. Can I sit here and say that this is not ideal after you win X amount of games? Not ideal, but it is what it is. And I just don't want our guys and expect our guys to think otherwise. So, until they change it, this is uh, the way the format is. So I'm sure you have a better insight than I do. I just don't know. I don't have a better solution right now. What was the bottom? Uh, it, it's his choice. So knowing him, it, it's going to be some type of first throw. So it's not going to be cheap. When did you make the bet? When they had a uh, sometime in August. Um, so he was out ahead of it, maybe July. And, um, yeah. One in April, that would have been more That's right. That would have been like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's awesome.